Hello everyone and welcome to the 0 to 10 Serum 2015 video series. My name is David Kohar and in today's session we're going to look at how we can much more effectively visualize our relationships inside of Microsoft Dynamics Serum. One of the new features that Microsoft has added to the solution is the ability to be able to step back and visualize the relationships or the records that you have in the system itself. In this example, and the example we're going to go into the demonstration around, we're going to look at a relationship we have with Target Corporation, one of our key accounts. And while we have a relationship at the top level, we also have relationships at the regional level and even at the store level. And now we're going to be able to step back and actually see visually how those relationships are evolving. We're also going to be able to look at it at a contact level. We're going to be able to see right from the president all the way down through the directors how those particular individuals are connected to each other and be able to then drill into those records as necessary to go and establish much more detail around the actual relationship itself. So let's go into Microsoft Dynamics Serum and have a look at the actual solution. So I'm logged into Microsoft Dynamics Serum 2015, and I'm going to go and navigate to a couple of these areas now that we can go and visualize this kind of data. I'm going to go over to the account area, and as you can see on the left-hand side, I actually have this icon here that signifies whether this particular record is actually part of a hierarchy or not. Um, in this particular case, of course, we can see here on the, on the list that we've got Target Corporation, which happens to be the top level record in this particular instance. We've got our regional records and our store records. Now, it's pretty difficult to look at this list view here and actually understand the relationships of them. And now, just simply by clicking on the hierarchy view, we can actually establish and look at what these relationships look like much more visually. So we're starting at the top end at Target. Uh, corporation, we can see the regions, we can drill down here on the left hand side and see all the stores if we'd like to. We can actually use the chart itself and actually go and drill into each one of these particular records. Now you'll notice on the card itself, it actually gives some of the key information. So in this example, we can see that our open revenue for Target Corporation is 13.1 or so million dollars. Now that's actually a roll up of all of the open revenue on all of the open opportunities across all the target relationships. So it's a nice way for me to visually see that we're actually got a $13 million pipeline with target right now. Now, if there's some other things that I'd like to really explicitly see on these kinds of uh, cards, I can actually spin over to another view. And in this one, for example, we're actually showing more of the contract value. So this is all our sole business that we have. We currently have $11 million of sole business or, or contracts with Target as well. So nice way to both visually step back and look at how the account itself is structured, but also be able to understand some of that key um, data or some of those key metrics that we might have that we're tracking about the actual relationships themselves. Now, if we pop over to the contact area, we're going to have that same kind of capabilities. Now, again, we've got a classic list view, and we've got nice ways to drill down with our charts here on the right-hand side. You'll notice that um, we have Allison and a number of other people that are listed as being a part of a hierarchy. Now, if we go into any one of these here, let's go into David, for example. And again, we can pop over to the actual hierarchy view first here and have a look at how these relationships actually are established. So, Again, we've got David at the top level, we've got Allison and Eva who actually report into David, and then we can see how, with respect to Eva, she has three direct reports, um, Dave, Gabriel, and George. So if we come over here and actually look at that, we can see those individuals here. We've got a, you know, a picture of them, so we know who they actually are, we know what their actual job titles are, their emails and such. And so for simple things, like if we wanted to send a quick email to Allison, now that we see where she is on the hierarchy, I can simply click on her email and uh, pull up Outlook and send off an email if I like to. So a nice way to visualize those org charts or those relationships. Now, if I want to drill into the records themselves, of course, I can do that. So I can be here inside of actually Allison's contact record and go and see the detailed information that I might want to see around, whether it be support information or different activities or notes or anything that we have actually on uh, Allison uh, specifically. So this now allows us, at the, whether it be at the contact level, at the account level, or even some of the other key records that you might track inside of CRM that you want to actually roll up and have a much more hierarchical view of them, allows you to nicely see what those relationships now look like. And with that, I'd like to do a quick wrap up. I want to thank you all for watching the video here today. If you have any questions around visual hierarchies or any questions at all around Microsoft Dynamics CRM, please reach out to us at 0 to 10. Thank you.